many of my longtime readers know that I have never come out and recommended one particular program over another for tagging your digital scrapbooking kits, elements, papers, photos, etc. I have finally decided what program I am going to utilize and what I would recommend and that program would be the Windows Live Photo Gallery and we're going to take a moment to review that um, and uh, maybe in my blog post I'll type up some other things, uh, reasons why I'm choosing to use this uh, program but I wanted to share with you how easy it is to use. First of all I have here a graphic that I made um, one of the reasons why I do not support the organizer is that it is so RAM heavy. Um, this is a screenshot of uh, the task manager in, in um, Windows. I opened up the Windows Live Photo Gallery and the organizer and I took a screenshot of how much RAM each one of them were using um, just straight uh, out of just opening them and doing nothing else with them and you, it's very obvious that the organizer uses a lot more RAM. Um, the uh, Photoshop Elements editor, ten, especially in version 7, seems to um, just randomly shut down a lot uh, when you uh, don't have enough RAM available to use it and if um, you've got the organizer open up at the same time the likelihood of that happening is so much greater because of uh, you, the heavy use of RAM as you can see here so um, I only have so much time trying to keep this under 10 minutes so let's go ahead and look in at the Windows Live photo gallery now I blogged recently about the difference between the Windows Photo Gallery and the Windows Live Photo Gallery. Uh, this is a free program. That's one reason why um, I recommend using it because I can recommend it to any person. Um, the <coughs> the Live Photo Gallery is actually a newer version of the Windows Photo Gallery, and so. Um, I have here some folders that I have set up. You can choose which folders on your computer that the gallery accesses and um, the more of course that you have open and accessing the uh, longer it takes to open. These um, two here called camera images and digital scrapbooking are actually on my external hard drive and this one here is my entire laptop um, but you can go in the file now uh, drop down menu include a folder in a gallery and you can see I can even access my EHD here or any one that I want to include in this gallery. Um, so um, I have those set up and you can see here uh, that um, it works just like a browser and I can go in here and access any one of my folders. Let's close that up to uh, keep the room. In this second section, well here's the second section, is the date taken. When you um, take a photo or create something, it writes it into the properties when that photo was taken. Let's just pick this one here. And you can see this one was taken January 29th of 2000 and so the photo gallery will read those so if you're looking for something in um, that was taken in August of 2009 I can click here and see everything that I created in August of 2009 and so you can search for things um, that way and then um, here is uh, the people tags which is the next section. Now at first I was really thrown off um, because when I opened this up that said scrapbooking wow where did all these names come from? This is actually hooked up to my Windows Live ID online. You can see I'm actually logged in as Hummy and if you would go to um, windowslive.com uh, and log in and see who all your friends are, um, that's 
who is showing up here, there are actually, I think it showed me at one time, how many, 300 and some names here. I didn't know I had that many friends. And uh, most of them are uh, digital scrapbooking people. I organize them. Um, you can organize them into groups, um, family, friends, or whatever. And, and being as I mainly use it for um, digital scrapbooking, uh, I had all of my contacts under scrapbooking. And um, I had a few other uh, under other contacts. Now, um, this other people is actually people I have um, tagged uh, here in in photos and I want to show you what's cool about the people tags it's really cool um, here's a tag for my son Jaren and um, you can see here some photos I haven't done too much tagging but what's cool about the new photo gallery is that it actually does a facial recognition so it went through some of my other photos and it said one other person found so I'm gonna click on this tag here and it's saying hey I recognize this face as Jaren do you want to identify it and I can say yes and click on Jaren and it accepts that tag now I'm gonna go back to the photo gallery and you can see that um, is gone over here now and that particular photo has been included with his tag. Is that not really cool? I'm not sure how it works. That's just something um, I'm learning this program too. It's something I've recently found. Now here are the descriptive tags. I have a section for um, digital scrapbooking and you can see here I have one for buttons and I've tagged a lot of buttons. Um, you can easily tag things by just simply saying, uh, you can search for anything in here just like you can anything else. So if I search for ribbon, it's going to come up, well, let me see, it's searching that particular category. Let me go up here to all photos and videos and then search for ribbon. As I said, I'm just learning how this works myself. And so it's coming up with everything that has the name ribbon in the title. And so um, you can see it's coming up. It's slowly getting the thumbnails. Uh, and it came up with even my video tutorials. This will access videos. And um, I can simply do Control A. You click out there first control a and it selects everything in the search and then I can drag it over here to my tag for ribbons and I'm waiting for it to work hopefully that worked and now I can click on ribbons and there's everything that I tagged as ribbon Now, if there's something I want to untag, um, that is easy enough to do. Um, let's say I'm trying to find one of those videos that just got tagged as ribbon. Um, but let's say this is uh, actually not a ribbon. It's a uh, buckle. And I don't want that tagged as ribbon anymore and so I just simply will uncheck this box and uh, these will uh, no longer be tagged as ribbon and when you click on the ribbons the next time they won't be in that grouping anymore um, well this uh, video is getting to be near 10 minutes long and I want these to be able to be put on YouTube so I think I'm going to end this right now and uh, maybe start up uh, with a, a new video, a part two, and I'll see you around the corner.